And one thing that the new IP churches are doing, this is the emphasis. This is the focus. As I was just commenting during announcements time, hey, praise the Lord, we added another time for people to go soul winning. Another time. Great. That's what it's about. That's ultimately, at the end of the day, kind of the main objective and main goal of this church. We do a lot of other things for various reasons, but ultimately they will all help us in the endeavor to, read, to lead people to Christ. You know, getting sin out of our life, trying to live righteously, holy, be sanctified. All these things are great, and we need to do them anyways. God commanded them, but they also will help assist you when you clean up your vessel to be meat for the master's use to go forward and reach more people to Christ and be more fruitful. Because at the end of the day, it's souls that matter. Souls. This flesh is going to pass away. The, the, the goods... The money, everything passes away, but your soul continues. And the soul continues either in heaven or in hell. But we could make that decision and we could help impact other people's souls so that they don't have to be spending an eternity in hell. Everything else is going to go away, but the soul matters. The soul is what it's all about. So the emphasis on soul winning is what makes New IFB churches great. New IB churches aren't the only ones that do soul winning. I get that. But we're just talking about the things that make new IB churches great in my mind. It doesn't mean it's exclusive. It just means this is one of the things that makes them great. How about this? Salvation's not complicated like so many make it out to be. Matthew 7, 13, the Bible says this. Enter ye in at the straight gate. For wide is the gate, and broad is the way that leadeth to destruction, and many there be which go in thereat, because straight is the gate, and narrow is the way which leadeth unto salvation, and few there be that find it. Now, this passage, straight, that word straight means narrow, the straight gate. The reason why it's narrow, it's not difficult. See, the modern versions, and we'll get into that in a minute, in, in just a few minutes here, on the Bible versions, but the, the modern versions will tell you that this is difficult. You ever hear people say you got to walk the straight and narrow? What they mean by that is, man, you better do what's right every day. You need to be paying attention to the work that you're doing and that you are doing what's right every single day. That's the straight and narrow. Look, the straight way for salvation, it means Christ. Jesus Christ is the only way. Like he said, I am the way the truth and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. That is the definition of the straight way, the straight way of salvation. It's simple. It's not complicated. But there are plenty of churches that will complicate this and they'll try to tell you, no, 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 you got to do, I mean, you can't just do whatever you want. You got to live right. You got to return from all your sins. You got to do this. You got to do that. And they muddy up the self salvation. They muddy up the gospel. And in many cases, just preach a false gospel. New IB churches don't do that. New IB churches are very, 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 very abundantly clear on what it takes to be saved. Praise the Lord, right? It is simple. It, it is not complicated at all. And one of the things you'll find, New IB churches, there's no complication there. They make it easily understood. It's one of those things that, hey, we, I mean, it goes hand in hand with those first works, right? It goes hand in hand with preaching the gospel, you, it has to be clean. You, you have to understand the gospel really well, and you're going forth and we're preaching it, and it's not difficult. 